Hi, this is Pat Fortino at Right Now Design, and this video tutorial will explain how to add a menu items in WordPress. Um, we have a default WordPress site here with WordPress 3.6, uh, which is <clears throat> pretty similar to 3.5, um, but we have a menu with just three items on it. We'll add some more menus, menu items. They can be pages or posts. So the first thing is if you go to your dashboard, this shows the 3.6 dashboard. Um, you can get to menus by going to appearance, menus. And then uh, you want to select the navigation menu you want to work on. I have several menus here, but I'm going to select the header navigation and click select. Now I have this menu here, and I only have one theme location for a menu. It's called navigation menu. Now in 3.5 it's a little different. When you go to appearance menus, uh, your menus are just in tabs like this and you can work on either any of them or add a new one. But the, the method works the same. Um, also one other thing, we if you want to add posts, uh, by default they don't show up in the selection so you need to click on screen options and make sure that show on screen it has post selected uh, or any other uh, items that you'd want to be able to select. So back to our menu, um, I'm going to add some pages and some, some pages. So uh, it doesn't matter what these pages are called, these are just more for examples. Uh, so under service times I'm going to add some new pages. So in order to add pages or posts, you select the ones you want and put a checkbox by them. And then click add to menu. Then they'll show up at the bottom of the menu and you can move them to where you want. Uh, in WordPress, you, all you have to do to move them is to drag them. So I'm going to put these under service times. And so I can either put them at the same level and just uh, move them up like this, where then they become main menu items. And let's just take a look at what that looks like. I'm going to reload the page by clicking. Oops. Okay, here we are. Um, so we have our two pages here at the main area. Uh, but let's make them sub-pages of service. So in order to do that, we just drag them a little bit to the right, and they become under service. Make sure you, in order to apply the, with the menu, you have to click the Save button. It won't, it doesn't automatically save when you get done moving. So we'll go back here to our site, and now we have a drop-down under service times with the new menu items we added. So also we may you may want to add a post to the menu. So if you uh, did as I told you and you went up and selected to show post, they'll show up as a selectable menu item. Uh, let's look at the post here and we'll add hello world and sample post and we'll add it to the menu. And as I said before, they they uh, automatically go under um, the main and in, into the main menu at the bottom. So also, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to just add a uh, a container for these, and I'm just going to add a link. And so, in order to do that, where it it'll create the drop down, just put a pound sign in there, and we'll call it. Uh, posts and I'm going to add it to the menu. So here's what I'll do is above contact us and then I'll put hello world and sample post. And you can also note you can you can go a third level if you want like this and you can change the title. So and you will we'll probably want to make this shorter. We'll just put sample post with sample post images okay 
and again click save the menu reload the page now we have post hello world and sample posts okay one more thing now so we've added some pages say you have a blog and you have a category of your blog you want on the main menu you can click categories and uh, we'll say we want category 2 to add to the menu um, and I'll go change the change the title here to blog and click save wait a minute um, <clears throat> save okay I'm going to move that above contact us I'd like to have contact us at the end click save again and reload and now we have a link to our blog category and it'll just list your blog posts this one only has one but if you added more then more would show up and you can control how many show up under the settings for your blog so that's how to work with menus uh, if you want to move a menu if you want to delete a menu item unfortunately there's no way to save it or turn it off and then turn it on later you just have to delete it so for example if I want to get rid of this post sample images I have I click remove click save and let's go look at it again make sure we got what we wanted so now we have no sub menu item here so that's how to work with WordPress menus thanks